this little part right here fits inside this area right here okay it's just this little piece just kind of tucks away you know right inside there so I've taken it out and now I'm going to go ahead and just um, put this in manually on this board I think it'll be easier that way so I'm going to take that piece and slide it right inside there okay I'm just gonna get my fingernail and push it in All right. I'm going to get this connector right here and I'm going to push it inside the strip right here as you can see you need to line it up to those gold pins now I'm putting my fingers along the back side you're gonna feel a rigid edge right there and then I felt it literally kind of snap down into place there okay now remember this tucks in right here so I'm just going to um, place it right back where it came from now this was a uh, definitely something that was very filthy and I'm gonna go around the edges of this and clean clean these as well don't use anything uh, any harsh abrasives but these little buttons actually come out so that's all that is and uh, one thing that happens to buttons is they seem to stick uh, when they get um, a lot of stuff on the outside edge of the button as you can tell this one's got a pretty good bit around the outside edge uh, one thing you better make sure that you do is is put all of these back in the exact order that they're supposed to be and this little black piece um, once you put the directional pad in goes in just like so kind of to the corner to the side and just like that This uh, this piece right here where the uh, PlayStation uh, button was, um, and when it came out, there is a uh, the start button and the select button. There is a little plastic black ring that is right here. This little ring right here. It only fits in there one way. Okay. I'm going to take it out and show you that ring. It's just like that. Now, if I were to put that in the wrong way, what would it do? Let's see. Okay. It ob it obviously does not fit properly. Um, I can see it better than you can on that. There's really only one way to do that. Now, if you want to get a little neat right here and um, turn your PS button upside down just for gimmicky purposes then this would be the time to do that but I can't turn this over to show you that or everything will fall out there's a stem right here All right, and it's um, it's elongated one way and it it matches the um, the the part that's cut out in the middle of this okay so it's only going to be able to uh, really match up one way now you could put it down the wrong way but it's not going to really go down and fit in there like it needs to same way over here a little piece that's in the middle that I told you about um, that was the you know went around it went sideways and then down to the right hand corner okay there's a uh, the little black ring will come up through the middle um, these thumb sticks can only go on one way and you just need to see the uh, direction of the stick and then the, the hole in the bottom of the, uh, the thumb stick. And just snap on. There is a hole right here in this flout right in the middle which is where that um, little st rubber stub right there in the middle of that is going to go. Best way to do this <laughs> after trial and error is to um, to take that trigger and push that flout up inside that trigger without the rubber piece in there then once you do that you will then push the uh, the trigger rubber piece inside okay 
you can actually see the stem coming through right here. Could definitely be the hardest part so far. Very important that you place this board down properly. So these uh, these tabs need to uh, stick out the top. Remember, there is the uh, the screw hole that is right there, and that needs to line up. And you're going to be able to tell underneath where it needs to line up at. And if you're not lined up, that will not screw down in there. Turn it over once it's done, and see if uh, the buttons feel okay. See if the D-pad feels okay. It does. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, check out my thumbsticks. You have to be in that groove in order for when you put the trigger on the front, uh, the front trigger, that it keeps everything uh, nice and sturdy to where when that trigger pushes in, it, it pushes that, uh, that rubber stop. So, um, and then also remember, this little black piece right here on your reset button. Let's turn the right way. And this will actually slide down in a groove uh, right here on the front. Now that I've pushed that down in there, I'm going to check the button and make sure that it doesn't push too far in and that it actually bounces back. And it does, which means um, that everything's proper there. Now I'm going to take this um, this piece right here okay I'm going to uh, put the uh, the long um, stems toward um, the front trigger button and this one is a dual shock 3 6 axis and it's built a little different than this one which is only a 6 axis okay so um, the earlier the dual shocks don't have this uh, separator, so keep in mind that this is uh, uh, according to what controller you take apart, things may vary. I will uh, place the top back on the controller. All right, now as you're putting the uh, the back cover on again, you need to keep in mind that those. Those two little um, inserts that you know that had the stems that are in between the two triggers um, must line up also to a um, a slot that is on that back panel. And you, I actually line those up first, and once I got those lined up, then I ease the whole thing down. And there's a clip on the front right here of of the uh, controller. It's on the back but it's on the front of the uh, down here on this front side of the back and it clips down and it just snapped into place um, just keep in mind on these because they tend to want to uh, to fall out on you okay but like I said it's a lot different with the uh, the dual shot because that is one one solid piece uh, on the back with these. Okay. Okay. Everything seems to be going well. And uh, now I'm going to uh, just put all my screws in and I'll be done. Do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any controllers that are broken. If you do this, it is so said that you do at your own risk.